So I spend a lot of time thinking about product pages, but I also spend a lot of time thinking about mental models for how to think about product pages. I think it's really interest. It's really valuable to think of your product page like a Vegas magic show. And the people that were coming into our magic show had seen the exact same magic show right before they came in. How much sense would that make? It wouldn't make any sense, right? So we would design our magic. We would look at the other magic shows in Vegas and we would design our magic show to be very different, right? Even though it's the same magic trick, even though it's magic tricks, it's the same category of show, we would have different types of tricks, we would sequence it differently, we would have different sense of humor, we would have a different vibe, a different point of view, because the way to think about it is that if someone has already seen a magic show and they're coming to our magic show, that tells me two things. It tells me that they obviously um, have consumed one piece of content, so they're looking for something different, but it also tells me that they haven't got their fill of magic shows, right? So, they, so, so those are two important data points. Now, how does this apply to product pages? It absolutely does. If if you are selling a vacuum cleaner and someone comes to your product page, you would be naive to think that, that your, yours is the first and the only product page that they would see. So in all probability, they are doing speed dating and they've clicked on a bunch of ads that go to other landing pages for vacuum cleaners. So they've already seen certain shows. So you wanna make sure that when they come to your product page, they're getting a slightly different show. That's the mental model.